To me, apple cider donuts are one of those foods that just resonate with the season of fall. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to transform the apple cider donut experience into a cake. And this is just about everything we will need to make the apple cider donut cake. A yellow boxed cake mix, apple cider, apple sauce, brown sugar, butter, eggs, vanilla, and cinnamon sugar. And of course, a helper if you got one. Yes, Mason. Okay. In a large bowl, add the cake mix, half a cup of applesauce, three quarter cup of apple cider. Your two hands, okay? Two tablespoons of melted butter and three eggs. Oh, got it? Nah, yeah, that's okay. My son has been working on his egg cracking skills. He's getting really good. Oh. We're gonna wash your hands real quick. After everything is added, beat this all with a handheld mixer until combined. Once mostly combined, add one tablespoon of brown sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla. We eyeballed the vanilla. Looks like we got pretty close. And then give this one more mix to fully combine. And of course, once you're finished mixing, don't forget to give the beaters to your helper. While snacking is in progress, grab a bunt pan or a large fluted pan and grease it well with a nonstick spray. Pour all of the batter directly into the pan until it's all used up. I really like this shaped pan we have. It's a bit unique compared to the typical butt pan. I'll leave a link to this pan in the description in case you're interested. Once the batter is all poured into the pan, bake in an oven that's been preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 minutes. The baking time will really depend though on the shape of the butt pan, so keep an eye on it and check it early. You'll know it's done when it's golden brown and you can stick in a toothpick or a long skewer and it comes out clean. Let this cool for about 10 minutes or until you're able to get it out of the pan easily. While it's cooling, we can put together some cinnamon sugar for the topping. Simply whisk together half a cup of sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon until fully combined. Once the cake is cooled, lay down a piece of parchment paper just to catch excess sugar for easier cleanup. Then carefully turn the cake over onto the parchment and let it fall out of the pan. Melt one quarter cup of butter and grab the prepared cinnamon sugar. Brush the melted butter onto the cake on every edge, nook, and cranny. After it's all buttered, sprinkle on the cinnamon sugar all over the cake. This butter and cinnamon sugar coating will help give the cake a nice crisp coating that is quite reminiscent of the cinnamon sugar coated apple cider donuts you might find at a Midwestern cider mill. Use as much sugar as you think you might need and brush off any excess that you don't. Let this cool the rest of the way as needed, and it's done. This cake really is a similar flavor to an apple cider donut. It's moist and apple-y on the inside, with crisp cinnamon sugar bits on the outside. And to me, making this cake version is way easier than having to go through all the effort of making donuts from scratch. But if you would like to make the donuts at home, I did do that last year. Here's a link to a video I did on that recipe. I'll also leave a link in the description to it. Well, I hope you can give this recipe a try and enjoy. If you liked this video or learned something, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. As always, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.